You do not need charm to hit there. In fact, if it doesn't, you might be better off because when Squid hits Living Statue here in a second, it will knock him out of charm. If it doesn't knock him out of charm and the charm sticks, then there's other problems. We need charm to not be on. So if this doesn't hit and he starts wandering around, it's going to cause the AI to go screwy. If Squid does not take out the living statue right here, use Jessica to finish him off. This is where things could go haywire. If Squid gets a crit and brings the HP for Prism Peacock below 50%, this thing will blow up in your face and this will not work. So unfortunately, there's not really a way around this to determine whether or not a crit is going to occur. So if there's a crit, it's practically unsalvageable. Hopefully, he just gets the brilliance and Prism Peacock stays above 50% for now because you need to wait for Jessica to psych up to where she can take out the rest of his HP from 50% to zero or close to zero. As you will see, she doesn't quite make it to zero for me here. Thank you. 
Okay, so Prism Peacock is really close to reaching 50%, and because I don't keep track of how much damage is being done by my units, I don't know that the next hit is going to be too much. But there it is. Prism Peacock is below 50%, and his next turn is going to demolish everyone. So this is where it went sideways, and Jessica does not quite have what it takes to completely take out Prison Peacock. So I'm going to put her behind Great Dragon for protection. And luckily Great Dragon has enough HP to be able to take these hits so that Prison Peacock doesn't just come down and kill everybody, which is what would happen if Great Dragon could not take this hit right here. but it took two hits to take out Great Dragon, which gives Jade the opportunity to come up and finish off Prison Peacock. Now Jessica's hanging out here in the wind with Dread Dragon up there. So luckily Dread Dragon only has one turn. So I'm going to bring Jessica down and put Jade and Seraphie in the way to block Dread Dragon from reaching Jessica while Jessica builds up some more MP so that she can have another attack opportunity to finish off Dread Dragon. Really, at this point, Jade and Seraphie are just speed bumps. Had I not used Squid to attack that last turn, I would have had one more turn for Jessica to build up her um, tension, if you will, and probably would have had enough on the following turn to be able to take out Prism Peacock 100%. But I jumped the gun and used Squidzilla instead of holding Squid for one turn. So that's why I guess I should have, I should, I should slow down and write things down as this occurs. But fortunately, I was able to make this work even though it went, it went bananas. As far as abilities go, I have Jessica at plus 10 on Crimson Fireball and Searing Kizzes, as well as plus 10 on Jade's Pink Typhoon and Pink Tornado, and on Squid's Torpedo Tackle, and also on Great Dragon's Crack Breath Ice. And um, they uh, the blossoms on Squid and Great Dragon are 100% complete. And all of the TP is maxed out on both of them as well.